thank you for tuning in i am going straight in because that is the kind of alchemical spin that is happening here at this time because as i shuffle and unwind connecting with my own connection with the divine attempting to understand better this understand placement that I too find myself here you know all of this is revealing to us my dears because we are here and the message is becoming also clear I'm just power charging our vessels to match the knowledge the wisdom that is being finer tuned as we continue to emerge unleash discover recover heal feel align with every part of you that is you in full acceptance I hit record on a private moment with myself that I had no intention of sharing and part of my soul call is to share I'm growing in this development and the more that I connect and sink infuse understand my understand for my own overstand it's all about perceptions man I feeling through the natural uncomfortable feeling of being so open to share that I've gotten better where it's not even vibrating although it's thought because when we alchemize every part of ourselves into full alignment we must face the challenges that we meet within ourselves to be able to come from this heart space of non-judgment you see just like an um, image of a mother smothering or loving but not you know tenderly to the wounds of her own child and so with loving eyes, loving hearts, loving hands, loving lives, understanding that it's not going to be easy for us to do at this time for we are conditioned in this life to not nurture in, within, always codependent, dependent on other things to be the savior to our demise a lot is being released at this time this image of what we think we know let it go for we know shit we know what we have been spoon-fed in this environment 
since we've been born into this government. Therefore, although we are all culprits and recycle bots, reliving, living, experiencing, whether it be in this dimension, it's not. <coughs> So, it's time to release. Time to release your full view on what you think, you think, you know, this time around, that is right now. <laughs> like, um, pow pow, wow, like, wow. Oh yeah, it is time <laughs> now to <laughs> release the perceived that you perceive to retrieve, all coming from your external stimuli of an appetite <laughs> that is insatiable, by the way. What can we say? It's time to release your full view on what you think is rule or doom. Put to rest in this tomb the cocky view of ancient goop re-emerging under a different class of hypocritical hybrids inhabiting lands, <laughs> forgetting that we are all the founding fathers, seeding mothers, putting us under strict anarchy <laughs> of an energy needed to be released with full acknowledgement of its part that it has played in uh, every day of a yesterday of a shifting plane for we exist multi-dimensionally you see this energy of a portal of a reality that exists out of whack with this and that ah we're releasing facts into our own spirit Spiritual development. Time to release, for it was never yours. Although, if we go through every single multi dimensional portal layering of a door of something more, then fine, yes. We are creators indeed seeding many seeds throughout many a lifetime, throughout many of a, a plane. Oh, what is this we're talking about? Like, you know, we're not going insane, but we insane. <laughs> When you are surrounded by negativity, 
It is important to find ways of releasing it. You may not comprehend the huge effect this energy has on how you are feeling. One immediate way to release unwanted energy is to imagine it being washed away as water runs over your hands. Running water clears and transforms your energy. Another approach for clearing unwelcome energy is to take a sea salt bath or to use a paste of sea salt and water as a scrub in the shower. You can also burn sage for a few minutes and feel it lift away the low energy. Salt can draw out impurities and toxins that may be stored within your body. Toxins in your body can come from physical and emotional influences. Poor diet, exposure to pollutants, and emotional residue from disagreements or everyday stress can contribute to the buildup of toxins. The source of the toxins is irrelevant. The important thing is releasing and clearing away the unwanted energy. Take steps to clear yourself and your energy as you feel is necessary. A goddess emits lightning from her hands to signify the release of energy. It can also indicate a spiritual epiphany, awakening, or unexpected change. This card may herald an opportunity you feel passionate about. The clouds could suggest you don't have a full view of what is going on. They may refer to enlightenment or stress becoming a bit lighter. Do something intentional to clear your energy and you will feel a definite energetic shift. And now, on a bigger purge of a surge of a shift that is influencing every multi-dimensional nation of a station of a frequency of a vibe influencing these roots these vines for a lot is happening at this time we are here because we have worked our way to this point this day but even let go of that view too for everything is part of everything which is part of this discovery that is everything for you so that you can learn your due long overdue ever since you came out your incubator in this realm. Whether it was natural birth, C-section, whatever. Oh man. Or a spacecraft you exited from in this realm of reality. Whether you want to see it that way or not, you have been given Everything you are required to have or be a part of upon entry of this 3D realm. And so therefore, every part of you that exists up until this now is influenced by others' creations that have been spoon-fed to you since arriving here. So, knowing that and noting that, let's take another step back, okay? And take a deep breath in. <sighs> and exhale out. How can you safely determine without introspection, inspection, discovery, uncovery, revelations, and all these things that are occurring in your now perceived experience? And what is actual like truth for you? 
real for you. Removing the influence. You should have done your throat since the day you were born. I have done it. I'm gonna repeat in different variations so that you can just get the greater depiction and take it how it resonates for you and wherever you are, wherever you are. Every ounce of you that exists to date has been created through someone else's existence of a portal, of a creation that they <laughs> that they influenced your path into living however you think you live now. It's not to stay stuck on it, but it's to acknowledge that even the way you handle things is influenced by your environment in some way. So, what needs to be released, which is a... <laughs> has a tough one. <laughs> But we can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. Right? If you're even understanding and following this video in any kind of capacity, dude, you're dope one. Two, you, you got it in you to do what needs to be done. It's this release. Because there is this... There's so many portals and dimensions and realities and um, <sighs> dominating energies and forces that exist all around that influence and um, yeah, highly influence how we live today and you know what's happening in our now of this awakened state of reality that is um, being handled and pieced together by many numbers need not be counted. Energy is energy. The power of two can eradicate a fucking country. So never think that Anything has to do with numbers. But there are many that are doing that work. God, I'm emotional. <laughs> I won't. It's got shit to do. I don't have time for this crying. <laughs> hey. Hey. Let's pretend for one second that upon our birth here in this 3D realm, we were put to the side and allowed and gifted the opportunity to have no external stimuli influence influencing our upbringing <sighs> and now with this leveling of experience allowing growth to happen naturally in its own state of discovery not influenced by anything trying to influence it it grew we grew we grew outside of the societal experience and that's pretty dope and so now 
we enter this planet of reality. <laughs> the timing is impeccable. are hatching now i'm understanding some like subliminal references of my even cryptic poetry to myself when i write certain things years ago and just you know know that it's gonna have some later latitude and meaning and like just oh okay like you know <laughs> okay i get it now you know 10 years later but um <laughs> stay with me thank you for meeting me here too like i appreciate each and every one of you release <laughs> so now bless you Imagine, this is like a utopian thought of like, ooh, imagine if this allowed, like, I didn't have to go through any of the drama, the abuse, the fucking sadness, the depression, the fucking anger, like, I didn't have to go through none of that, and then got, you know, incubated away into this safe haven of a place and allowed to flourish, bloom, lotus bloom, discover whom, oh, we can do things beyond our level of perceived um belief systems that have been spoon fed because this is beyond that experience like this is this utopian thought of like uh, reality happening here that i'm trying to depict out into you so that you can see through the veil of illusion too that you know i always ask this rhetorical question keep it you can answer it to yourself you can meditate on this forever i still meditate on this thought process of a question that constantly keeps evolving for me in understanding, understanding, overstanding. And I know that the more that I continue to allow for this flow, this grow, this know, that even this too is going to like shift and like just like you have, uh, yeah, you do if you're here. Okay. So, um, yeah. So allow this utopian thought of a reality to like exist. Take away all your life in this 3D realm experience. Oof. Magical wand. It did not happen to you, okay? You know none of it. You know nothing. <sighs> you know of not that experience at all. You, though, are now full-grown adults, having been given the incubation period to... Figure out what you are, who you are, where you are, what's going on, and however that's going to play out, pan out to be, without the influence of any external stimuli. You see, imagine something like this. You see, like, ooh, like, whoa, utopian thought of creation. Then, one day, a spaceship comes, and then we all go inside, and then they drop us off here, and we're just like... Hello, you're in room whatever because it's infinite rooms of infinite rooms of infinite rooms. We didn't even get to know any each and every one of us, you, me, to what because 
that didn't happen. We had a different incubation of an experience. And now we're left off on the spacecraft here on Earth that is already full of many kind of experiences, conditionings, um, laws, you know, like everything that you know now through your experience here. Like, but mind you, this is removed from this utopian thought of like, uh, hello can this like really happen like did this really happen like is this even about is that even should that that should be a movie <laughs> okay copyright <laughs> anyways what is all of that human shit you know what i mean so um yeah anyways thank you for tuning in i should make a number two of those i think so okay bye <laughs>